Hello everyone, welcome back to my Code to Care uh, series. I'm doing a couple of videos on the topic of how Gen AI models are trained. Uh, and the third um, training opportunity is something I call prompt before the prompt. Now in a machine learning sense, this isn't actually training because the weights of the model are not adjusted, but it has the same effect. Uh, you can think of it as uh, just-in-time training, uh, basically. So you're taking whatever task, let's say, uh, you're, you're doing like a patient chat bot, you're a health system, you take the patient's question, and then you're supplementing that question with, with information for the model. So it might be instructions, like here's the situation, you, we're a health system, you're helping a contact center specialist answer patient questions. So it might be instructions, you know, telling the model what role it's playing. Uh, it might be examples. Okay, so I want you to respond. Here are a couple questions and a couple answers that uh, that you could use as guidance, as examples. Um, there's content, which is um, a generally called the retrieval augmented generation. So you're pulling from your documents that are relevant to that patient question, let's say, or user question, and you're packaging that up with the prompt and saying, here's some context you can use in answering that, um, that question. Um, so any guidance, hints. You know, another example is we built a model that takes text uh, and turns it into SQL queries. So, so a business user might ask, hey, uh, you know, how much revenue did I make this quarter and how does it compare to last quarter? Or did my patient volume increase or something like uh, that? And in the prompt before the prompt, we told the model what the table names are, how to join the tables together, these sorts of things. And some of what the user might say, when the user says visits, it's really encounters in our database or something something like that. So you're basically doing that just-in-time information that the model can use to get the task to work uh, uh, to work right. So again, it's not technically training, but this is really your third opportunity to sort of influence how the model is going to respond. Um, and it's, it's actually um, as effective as some of these other uh, tasks, believe it, uh, believe it or not. So, um, so you, gen you always get a pre-trained model. You generally do some level of prompt engineering and supplying the model with some stuff. And then often you might do uh, fine tuning and combine all these three messages to get a better, more responsive uh, uh, system. So that's it. I hope that was interesting. And until next time, bye.